Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So Adobe kindly invited me to share to you guys their all-in-one editing software called Rush. I don't know about you guys, but I've always been fond of color correcting slash color grading ever since I was introduced to it, mainly because it really does further enhance the quality of your video and even just the feel of your video as well. So let's say you want to evoke sadness on your video. So you adjust the color correction to maybe a more blue slash cool tone or in contrary, if you want to evoke happiness, you might want to adjust the color correction to a more vibrant colors and typically a warmer tone. Color correcting really does make a difference, believe it or not. And so for today's video, I'll show you guys how I tackle color correcting in Rush. I will be using the iOS version for Rush just because I find it quite handy. So let's go. All right, you guys, so I've just imported my sample clips. And as you guys can see, these clips are very much in the blue tone slash cool tone and very desaturated as well. So I want the opposite of that. So let's just go ahead and start color correcting. So to start color correcting, all you have to do is click the color icon in the bottom right corner. So click on that. And as you guys can see, the first thing that you'll notice are the built-in presets that Rush provided for you. They have quite a lot of things to choose from. But for today's video, I'm just gonna be manually color correcting my video. So I'm just gonna go click on edit and start color correcting. So like I said earlier, these clips are very much in the blue tones and definitely desaturated. So what I wanna do is increase the temperature to make it more warm. So I'm just going to increase the temperature to around 20 so that it's not too warm. So I'm not gonna play around with tint, but I will increase the vibrance just so the orange sweater will pop even more. So I'm just gonna increase that around 30. There you go. And I'm also going to adjust the saturation to even make it more pop. So I'm just gonna increase that to around, let's see, probably 160 would be best for this one. So as you guys can see, the orange is definitely more popped. And as you guys can see, it definitely has that drastic change now. So that's what I want. For this clip, personally, I want the blacks to be darker. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down and I'm gonna decrease the shadows to about negative 20 or actually maybe negative 30. There you go just so the blacks are even more darker. But yeah guys, we've successfully color corrected the first clip, so I'm just gonna kinda like drag it around. So this is what it looks like now. So this is the before, and this is the after. So definitely a lot more brighter, definitely a lot more saturated, and that is what I want. Just a quick tip for you guys, if you don't want to manually color correct each clip because it can be very arduous, all you have to do is click this little three circles on the right, and then create a preset of your current you know, color correction, and you can just rename that as, I'll name this as test, and click save, and all you have to do is go to the none color corrected clip, and just go to presets, scroll all the way down, and as you guys can see, you have your own presets on the very bottom, and all you have to do is click on that one that you just saved, and there you go. Your clip has been color corrected, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play the clip for you guys just so you guys can see this is before and then this is the after. So as you guys can see, definitely a lot more saturated, vibrant, just like what I want, so yeah. And that, you guys, is how I color correct using Rush. Definitely give it a try. Try color correcting in Rush. It's simple, straightforward, and no complications whatsoever. But anyways, guys, that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys gained some insights on color correcting using Rush. Hope you guys have a wonderful day as well. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.